Hello, good morning everyone. It's Savannah here, Marketing Director with North Star Senior Advisors. In a little bit of background of North Star, we're a senior placement company. We help seniors and families locate assisted living options in the Central Florida area. It's assisted living, memory care, and independent living options at no charge. And I want to thank you all for joining me today for another live presentation. And today, I want to address a question that we get asked quite often. What is the average, or I'm sorry, are there hidden fees in assisted living? And we do get asked that question a lot from communities. And the answer in a nutshell is no, they're not hidden um, because you're going to be presented these options or the costs up front. And again, a benefit of working with us is we're going to help explain the cost to you. But there are some things that I want to make sure you're aware of when it comes to the cost in assisted living. And again, we'll work as your advocate. So we're going to help present options based on your budget. And we're going to break down the costs for you. And then when you meet with the community or virtually now because of COVID, um, they're also going to break it down for you. But we'll provide a checklist so you know exactly what to ask when it comes to costs. And so we've addressed some of this in our past videos. But I want to start off by breaking down the cost in assisted living, right? So for the starters, I want to talk about the base rent, right? The average cost of assisted living in the state of Florida is about $3,500. Now, there are places that are more than that and that are less, um, but that's about the starting average cost. Now, in the base rent, this includes um, your electricity, uh, utilities, uh, water. All of that is bundled together. Typically, Wi-Fi and phone is included. Also, you get your three meals a day, the snacks in between, um, housekeeping, laundry services, transportation, um, similar to a cruise ship, right? It's kind of all inclusive when it comes to the base rent. What's not included is the care cost, and not many people know that care is charged on top of assisted living, right? So it's not a hidden charge because it's going to be presented up front, but care are charged in a couple of different ways, and we have mentioned this in a couple of videos as well, but um, the care can be in all-inclusive, right? So everything's included, so you wouldn't be charged extra for care. You can have all a um, all la carte as well as uh, levels of care. And you're going to know these levels of care and you're going to know the a la carte charges up front. And when the community does their assessment, that's how they determine what level you fall into. Um, so we can, again, help break all of this down for you um, when you talk to the community and they find out more about your loved one. Now, the cost of the care again will depend on the community this is not a hidden fee right you're going to know up front what the cost is but what's really important to know that if your care or your loved one's care were to increase in the future the cost of the care may increase as well but the community is going to communicate that with you so if the cost of your loved one is comes in maybe at like a level one or two again that could go up to five, just depending on the community. Each community is unique, um, but maybe six down, six months down the road, they increase uh, up to a level four or five because they need more care. They're going to communicate that with you, and it's not going to be um, just sprung upon you, or it shouldn't be sprung upon you. You should know in advance that there may be another cost for care. But again, when you work with us, we're going to tell you a lot of places have a cap for care charges, so you're never going to be charged more. Uh, they usually have it at a cap. Not all places have a cap, but the majority of them do. So you'll know in advance, you know, this is the highest it'll ever be, and you can kind of coordinate that into your budget. Um, so we're going to be up front, and the community will up, be up front uh, about the cost because it's very important. Now, um, with this in mind, right, you have the base rent, which I explained, and then the care cost. Right? It's not hidden, you're going to know about it in advance. But some other things to keep in mind, um, and not many people know to ask this question too, but assisted living is kind of like an apartment. So there typically is an average rate increase between three to six percent. Now, not every year a community will participate in the rate increase, but it's good for you to know. And when we do provide a checklist of questions for you to ask these communities, that's on there. So you'll know to ask that and you can find out, you know, how often have they done rate increases? Will there be one next year that they might be able to tell you? Um, so that's important to know. Again, it's not really a hidden cost it's more of um more so something that you're aware of that it, it could happen right um the last thing is with all of that in mind right the care the base rent the annual increase there's just a couple other things again they're not hidden fees but when you go into a community they usually have a salon on site or other third parties maybe like a store to purchase items you can um, purchase those if you please um, or use the salon services that's an extra charge it's not hidden and it's of course up to you to use but that is there also 
due to COVID, not a lot of communities are going on outings right now, but typically they would be going on outings and you would, uh, if you go to a restaurant, a museum or anything like that, you would um, want to bring some extra cash with you to be able to um, go to the restaurant and things like that. But again, not hidden, just something to be aware of when you do move your loved one. So that's basically in a nutshell, the average or the um, breakdown of charges in assisted living. When you work with us, we will break it down for you. Um, if you have any questions, um, feel free to drop it in a comment now. I actually do see a question right here. Are there fees for pets? Very good question, right? So yes, there is fees for pets. A lot of communities, first you have to find out if they're pet friendly. A lot of communities are. Um, there's a few that aren't, but the ones that are, they typically do charge a pet deposit. So very good question. Again, um, is it a hidden fee? No, but it's good to ask that question in advance because if you are bringing a pet, you would need uh, to know the pet deposit. And then also there's usually a weight limit for pets, so it's very important to know. So very good question, but yes, there is usually fees for pets. If you have any other questions, feel free to drop it in the comments here now. Send us a Facebook message. If you want to know more about the communities and you're interested in narrowing down options for you or your loved one, please reach out to us. We'd be happy to help. Um, you know, you can call us on our uh, office number 407-796-1582. Please visit our website as well, northstarsa.com. We have several other uh, videos just like this one on there that can kind of guide you and explain other information about assisted living. Um, so I really appreciate you all watching today. Um, feel free to reach out anytime. And again, see us here every Wednesday at 1130 a.m. We'll be sharing more valuable content with you. So thank you all so much and have a wonderful day.